we view ourselves as having a, a social license to operate and that's the only way that Walker can continue to do business when you're doing these types of things. The Walker Environmental Group takes very seriously environmental regulations. One of the things we pride ourselves on is our relationship with the municipality, with the Ministry of Environment and all the other agencies required to get approval for such a large scale facility. We recently started a contract with the Regional Municipality of Niagara for composting 100% of their uh, source separated organic waste or the green bin waste and their leaf and yard waste for the next 20 years. So as part of our, our new composting system, we chose the, uh, the GORE technology. Started in April of 2009, been operating for a little over a year now. We did a lot of research and a lot of people from Walker went of different countries around the world to choose a system. We decided to go with the GORE system because we felt it was one of the best systems out there, if not the best. It brought sort of the best of both systems together, the length of time, the controlling of the odors and the use of the air and, and all the ingredients that go into that. As part of that, uh, we also became one of the uh, first companies in Canada to use the GORE system. With the GORE system, we have this eight week period. Traditionally, we use an outdoor wind windrow system here and we did that in a lot of places in Ontario. The difference is that the outdoor system took us about six months. In this system, it's only eight weeks. So we can do a lot more material in a much smaller footprint in a much smaller length of time. In terms of technology, we have a receiving building. Municipal trucks are delivered to our site. Uh, they unload inside the building. We typically see 20 to 30 trucks a day. The building is kept under negative pressure, which means air is pulled into the building. Air from the building is treated through a biofilter system. We have two biofilters on the building. The biofilter is essentially a moistened bed of wood. Odors from the air uh, will get trapped in that wood medium and uh, microbes will help break down uh, any odors that, that might be present in the air. At this compost site, we receive leaf and yard waste. Uh, we receive approximately 20,000 tons a year here. This material we process or grind through a horizontal grinder and the ground material goes into our mixer as part of the material that goes onto the gore pad. The source separator organics that come into our receiving building are mixed through a mixer that we have on site. It's a 40 cubic yard mixer. We mix with that material the wood chips from our wood yard as well as our ground material that you saw go through the grinder out on our north pad. The three different materials mixed together produce the blend that we then use on the gore system in the actual cells. After the material has been thoroughly blended in the mixer, the operator pulls a switch and the material is then conveyed outside of the building to the gore pad. For leachate control, uh, leachate is any liquid or water um, that comes from the compost process. So at the, at the head of each of these compost channels, we have a leachate collection system. That's captured in a series of drains at the head of each of these compost cells. Those drains are connected to a, a, set, a set of tanks inside a receiving building. Those tanks are kept aerated to make sure the leachate doesn't go uh, odorous. The leachate from the tanks is pumped back to the mixer where the uh, SSO and the uh, leaf and yard waste is, is brought in before the composting process. So it sends it back to the, uh, to the start of the composting process, which helps add moisture to ensure we have uh, proper moisture in the compost. It also adds, uh, acts to inoculate the compost, adding microbes to help uh, uh, kickstart the composting process. This is our phase one cell. Uh, we bring it here with the, uh, the loader and it's, it's packed in at the uh, back at the, uh, the head wall behind me and we move forward this way. The material after it's put in here, we turn on the fans as it's going in. The air from the fans comes through the channels in the bottom here. Using the air channels and having the oxygen come in according to a computer that you can actually control, that's where you control the odors, that's where you get the good product in. If we find that the temperature is going too high, we can add more oxygen, it will cool the, the, the temperatures down. What you want in any kind of a composting system is you want temperatures somewhere between 55 degrees Celsius and say 65. That's about the optimum temperatures. And that's where you get your, your fastest rate of composting and you can do that using the actual uh, uh, air coming through the channels. We run the system through here in phase one for four weeks. We remove the material from here, we go to a phase two. In this system here, we have eight channels or eight cells. Phase two has four cells. It goes in there for two more weeks. We cover it again with the gore cover. We allow that to be controlled again by oxygen. After that two week period, we move it again to a phase three, four more cells. In that, we don't bother covering. There's really very little order whatsoever after that. 
and we just use that controlled by the actual temperature probes. The material that comes off the GORE system after a phase three is ready to be screened and we screen it through our McCluskey Trommel screen. It's a, we screen it to half inch and the final product then is cured for another three weeks approximately. Different times of year it's at different lengths but uh, once it's uh, tested for maturity and passes the maturity test, we then load it into trucks for sale to our customers. About three years ago, we opened a uh, retail outlet here, uh, right beside the Gore system. And it's for the, the people, local people in the uh, in the area around St. Catharines, all through the Niagara region. A lot of people come here; they bring in their uh, leaf and yard waste, and they head back out with empty trailers. And it's a great uh, opportunity to load up on the compost that's that's produced here with their own waste that came here originally. All compost sites are different. They have different technologies, but again, it goes down to the basic science principles of composting. It comes down to the management on the site and the people that are working the site. That's the most important part of, again, the, the, the entire system, is the education of the people that are working on your site, how well they understand the process, how well they work together. It's that kind of group effort, teamwork, that creates a site that will work. Earth First program is the Walker Environmental Program and the principles of the program revolve around taking responsibility for the things we do when they relate to the environment. And I think one of the differences the program has over other programs is that it's top to bottom. We have real buy-in all the way from the bottom of the organisation to the very top. So when an employee has an issue related to the environment, they have the right to, to actually tell us to cease and desist and not do any more, just like you would in a health and safety situation where you had an unsafe working condition. If our employees feel that from an environmental perspective there's an issue, they can bring that up and we will actually modify our operations to suit that. I think what's most impressive about our Gore compost set is how well it demonstrates what we call the Walker Way. Going back five generations, Walker truly has a long-term approach to business. We know that ultimately we can only be successful by respecting our environment, our communities and our neighbours.